Hey, what's up, guys? Sorty Sarah here with another Maple Story R Evolution video. All right, so today we're on day 28. It's almost day 29. Reset's coming in a few minutes. And then, yeah, that's that. All right, so we are also at chapter 2417. Right, let's hop in here, you'll see. We're fighting Crappy. Crappy, that's the fish name. And as you can see down here, you can see down here, my rage keeps getting locked. Right? So this is where we put it to the test. So I can't clear the stage, I tried it already. We're just a few seconds off because of our rage always getting locked. Even after dodging, it's still hard to clear. So, I realize I have some body a &E lying around. I'm almost enough fragments to collect the flying fish slime. And I said, why not? Let's go and buy, purchase the remaining fragments, 14 pieces, so that we can test out the flying fish slime. Right? Purchase it, test it out, and see if it will help us clear that stage. So finally, we've got the flying fish slime. We can purchase it from the adventure team shop as well, but I don't have enough tokens. So luckily, body a and &E is also quite affordable with all that is given from the events. We'll unlock a new slot at 142, we're almost there, but for now, let's replace our cactus with a flying fish line. This cactus only gives us minion damage, but flying f which doesn't help it for bosses, right? Flying fish slime. Supposedly, this reducing duration of hex by 42.5%. So my idea of hex was that it's about the rage reduction, the lock, the lock on rage, like how the crap the crappy boss applied it to me just now. So let's put it to the test and see if that's really the case and if it can actually make a huge difference to help us clear it. Right, so we got it to level 74. This is level 1 skill. Okay, there's a chance to summon Sea Tide, but it says. Right, reducing duration of hex. There's two meanings to this. One is that it just straight up, straight up reduces the duration as long as you have this flying fish slam out, which is quite helpful. Or that when you proc this, it will reduce the duration of the hex that's currently on us. Let's put it to the test. Young lady, you didn't get wrong. Okay. Jealous. Jealous of that okay. Is it three seconds instead of four? It's three seconds instead of four. Does that help us? It allows us to gain rage. Yeah, okay. So we're going to let it autoplay here, see if we can clear it, just by reducing the duration. Okay, so we've been able to pop our rage here. There's actually a, a gap that we can actually unleash our rage. Oh. Okay, it's like spamming it now. We might need to incorporate a bit of dodging to be able to clear this stage, actually. But you can see the health bar is aligned to the timing, so maybe we got this. As you can see, it does actually work. 42% does reduce it from 4 seconds to 3 seconds, which gives us a bit of window to generate rage. But that being said, I am a thief, so sometimes I am hiding a state, which means I don't take damage, which means it can't apply that curse to me, which might be the reason why we're able to gain rage at that small little time window, right? So it might not be rep replicable. Replicable? You know, can't replicate it on your other classes, but okay, if it works, it works, right? Just incorporate a few dashes here and there, a few dodges. And there we go, we cleared it. Something that we could not have cleared previously and we can clear now with the help of the flying fish slime. Of course, we gain some power, more attack, but the game changing part is that we have a reduction of hex. Which helps us reduce the rage lock from 4 seconds to 3 seconds that allows us to actually generate some rage. And if we level up the flying fish slime skills, getting more copies of it, we will be able to reduce it by furthermore, I think up to like, until 1 seconds left if I'm not wrong. Right, so that's all for the test. So. If you're struggling with a stage where there's a lot of hex, which is your rage being locked, Flying Fish Slime can be the pet that you can go for to help you pass those stages. Right? There's a lot of Land of Chaos stages that are like that. Some boss stages as you've seen just now. The Crappy Fish mob does that. The, there's a tree boss that does that as well. So yeah, it helps you pass it and that makes it much smoother.
to carry on. Right, so that's all for this video, guys. I just wanted to showcase the flying fish slime, whether it really works with what I thought it did or not. And it does, so that's a good thing. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.